Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and today, people, I would like to talk about supply drops in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Yes, the supply drops are coming back according to several sources out there, several of the YouTube channels that I follow. Um, people have been talking about it nonstop, how these supply drops need to go away, which I do agree on. To be honest, this supply drop thing has got to stop at one point, like for reals. And the people who buy supply drops, you guys are not making this thing any better. They brought it back again on a game that's supposed to be, you know, good in the franchise already. Because when I played it on the beta, it already feels better than the freaking Call of Duty Black Ops 4 game. I'm telling you, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 right now feels like an arcade game that you find in Pizza Hut compared to this game, which feels a little bit, a little bit more realistic with the recoil and the guns and all that stuff. So, um, I believe this game's a lot better, but with the supply drop thing, I mean, oh my god, another total grind fest. You know, it's going to be a struggle. It really gonna be because uh in in black ops 4 the battle pass you got 50 tiers you have like less than 60 days to do it but you know i got a job i got shit to do during the day so i only spend like around two hours a day playing the game maybe or even less sometimes i don't feel like playing the game and i'll skip it all together because i have my bad days and my good days sometimes when it comes down to bad days i'm like you know what i'm just gonna play this other game just to let the steam off and enjoy myself in gaming so uh, it takes a little bit longer for me to complete the battle pass or if not getting supply jobs to get a certain content. So um, yeah, it pisses me off. This thing should not even be part of the game anymore. Wasn't there like a bunch of laws passed by about this whole situation? What the hell happened to that? But games are still pushing for this whole situation. I don't know why. But like, um, I know there's going to be people wasting money on the supply jobs and I recommend not to waste money. Just grind, you know, all you gotta do is just grind, but I know it's a grind fest, but too bad, man. It's gonna happen, and there's nothing we can do about it, unless we sign petitions and do videos from big channels. You know, big channels can do have the chance to actually change this whole ordeal, just how they did it with Star Wars Battlefront. I mean, if there's enough backlash, I'm hoping there is for the supply drops, you know, we can make a change. So, uh, this whole thing should not happen at all, but here we are, you know, with this whole uh, supply job situation. So, um... Do I support this? No, I don't. I really don't. This just really sucks. <sighs> Man. But the thing is, you, you know, just the one thing to kind of like not let your hopes down. Because I know people are going to say like, oh, well, the game is going to suck and the, the people who waste money are always going to be good. To be honest, the people who waste money are not that good because they're skipping all of the battles to get that one weapon. They're skipping everything just to get that one spot. And if they never play the games they're supposed to play, that means their skill set are not as high compared to yours. Because they didn't battle enough, they didn't grind enough like you. Because you know more than them. You know more of the map locations, you know more of the skill sets compared to them, which they're going to get the new gun, right? It's powerful as hell, they're going to have higher damage. And low recoil, because I know in the past Call of Duties, they never update the recoil on the freaking weapons. It's just like a, you can just snipe from a mile away with an SMG. So, um, I know... These things are going to be strong as hell, the freaking DLC weapons. But believe me when I say this, sometimes the people who spend money are not that good. They're never that good. I've seen people who spend money back in Black Ops 2 for a Prestige 10 account or a Master Prestige, Prestige account. They are total trash. Total trash. And I've seen it over the years too with the weapons. You know, they have like the Commando or the freaking a certain weapon from Black Ops 4. And they're total trash with it. They're going like 3 and 10. You know, they're not even doing anything with that gun. They're just roaming around with it looking all cute. With a camo that they earned for no apparent reason. So, um, like, believe me or not, some of these players are going to be terrible at the game. If you just go through the grind, you'll learn more and get better at the game. But... You know, at the same time, I just don't support this decision. I don't know why they're bringing it back. It shouldn't never be brought back at all. So, um, so yeah, man, it's gonna be a total grind phase. It's sad that I won't be able to like work on them and get the attachments and learn the weapon just to get better with them from close range combat or long range. So, um, it's gonna be a total pain. But oh well, you know, that's Activision for you. They're trying to make cheap ass money out of this whole situation, and it sucks. It really does. So that's it, guys. I want to talk about today. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay, if you guys didn't, then leave your opinion. Um, also about the situation, what are your thoughts? You know, should the supply drops come back or not? Or um, you pretty much support it with buying the whole thing, which I highly doubt anybody will confess to that. I mean, it is the dumbest decision of the whole damn freaking game. Why the hell would you spend money to something you can earn for free? So, anyways, that is it. 
Leave a like, tell me what's up, and I'll see you guys later.